Okay, maybe our team, welcome back to the channel, guys. Thanks for tuning into today's video. We're going to be teaching you guys all about future trading. We're going to be taking you through the basics, talking about what it is, what it means, the key concepts, the risks, the benefits. We'll talk about absolutely everything in a slideshow. At the end of the video, we've taken you through a real world example of exactly what future trading is and how to actually execute a real trade on the exchange in real time. Now we did a video on this about four weeks ago, but since then BitCat has updated the interface and have added a few extra features on the future trading hub. And thus we decided to update this video and you'll see at the end of the video in the trading example, we've gone ahead and show you, shown you guys a new example uh, with all of the added features. So many of you already would have already seen this video, um, but nearing the end you would see it's actually been adjusted. There's some new information there, um, some new examples to show you in a little bit more in depth. That being said guys, if you like the video, if you like the channel, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button to share this video and get more people to see it. And of course, if you do wanna trade on BitGet, you can go ahead and do so with the link down below. Let's go ahead and get into it, cheers. All right guys, welcome. We're gonna be talking about leverage trading and I've got heaps of requests uh, from everyone on Twitter and Telegram and even YouTube asking me if I can do a tutorial on how leverage trading works, what it is, and show you guys actually what we need to do in real time on an actual exchange, and I'll even maybe try to take a trade today to show you how it works and the process of leverage trading. So first and foremost, guys, we're gonna go over a couple of things. What is, your, what is leverage trading, keywords, advantages and risks, uh, return on investment, examples. We'll talk about BitGet, uh, because BitGet is the exchange I personally use to leverage trade on. It is a global exchange, non-KYC, and there is no restrictions no matter where you are in the world. You can access it, so you click the link down below to access that, and then we'll go through uh, a real example of leverage trading on the actual exchange with real money in real time. Let's go ahead and get into it. So, oh, my camera is going to be blocking a little bit, but what is leverage trading? So leverage trading in crypto is essentially when an entity takes a loan, uh, against collateral and you provide this collateral this is your margin um, and this is basically the capital you invest into the trade this enables you to take a larger than usual position and it's going to be based on the multiple or the leverage applied to that position or margin so you can take leverage on a 10x you can take it on a 50x you can take a 100x we'll talk about that all in a second but essentially the leverage multiplies the margin position. So if you put $100 in at a 10X leverage, your position size is essentially $1,000. So when trading leverage, you've got access to cross and isolated positions. You also get access to longing and shorting the market. So essentially leverage guys, leverage is the numerical multiple applied to the margin. The margin of course is the capital invested. The return on the investment is of course the percentage return on your investment uh, the long position is basically a purchase betting for the price to increase in value a short is the opposite you're betting for the price to fall in value your liquidation price is the price where the margin will automatically sell to cover any losses the cross position is essentially that margin or capital investment is shared with the entire portfolio equity so as you start getting into a loss if you have say USDT sitting in a uh, wallet on the exchange doing nothing, it can draw equity from that wallet to keep the position open where isolated assigns and restricts the amount of margin or capital loss that can occur during the trade. Obviously trading isolated is a lot safer as it mitigates uh, extreme losses. You see people losing thousands of percent. You can't do that on isolated. The max you can lose is the entire margin invested so advantages guys and disadvantages there are a couple advantages and a couple uh, disadvantages or negatives um, i personally love leverage trading i think leverage trading is a phenomenal tool uh, to increase portfolios particularly if you have small portfolios but just with anything that comes with multiplying your risk you're going to have um, a lot more wins with larger profits and a lot, a lot more losses with but much bigger uh, losses as well. So if you don't have a successful trading strategy or you're quite new to trading, it is quite unforgiving and you can blow up your account, account quite click, quickly. So advantages, it allows the entity to access larger capital than they would be able to. We talked about that before. Uh, for example, if you've got $100 in at a 10X, you essentially have $1,000 you're trading with, but $1,000 at 100X, you're essentially trading with $100,000. Um, 
margin or should I say leverage boosts the return on investment potential as profits are multiplied by the leverage applied to the margin. We'll talk about that one later. It frees up capital. So for example, if you have a, if you have $100,000 in capital and you, you put $50,000 in a 2x trade, you still have another $50,000 that you can free up and use rather than just putting the whole $100,000 in and now have no liquidity available. So it can free up capital, which means you can take equal positions in places you want to take and still have money on the side to do what you want to do with. Um, and it enables you to short assets so you can actually short the price and make profit if the price starts to go down. Negatives, you have liquidation risk, meaning if your liquidation price is reached before your stop loss or applied margin, you can lose your entire margin or capital invested in the trade. Uh, losses are of course multiplied just as gains are multiplied. And if you're trading on cross, you can lose much, much more than your margin. So leverage and risk return. Let's talk about this. So we talked about that a little bit before. We'll go into a bit more detail. If you take a 1x leverage, and sorry, the screen is kind of covered a little bit here. But if you take a 1x leverage, guys, uh, guys every 1% the asset price moves, you make 1% return. Okay? If you take a 10x leverage, every 1% the asset price moves, you make a 10% return. So you can kind of see the trend here. 50 times leverage, every 1% the price moves, you make 50% return. And a 50% return is return on your margin, okay? And then 100x, 100% return, 125x, 125% return. So here's an example. We took $1,000 and we'll show you a real world example at the end of the video. We'll actually do a real trade with you guys. A $1,000 margin applied to Bitcoin at a 10x leverage. So you put $1,000 into a longer Bitcoin for 10x leverage. This gives you a position size of $10,000. If Bitcoin's price moves upwards 5%, your return on investment is going to be 50%. So 50% of margin, we calculate that by $1,000 multiplied by bracket 10. So leverage multiplied percentage return, 5% equals $500. So you made $500 for that 5% move, okay, which is equal to 50% of the margin applied. So where to trade leverage? So guys, this is what I personally trade. Um, BitGet is probably the best exchange you can use for leverage trading. I highly recommend everyone goes to the link down below, click the link, sign up with the link below to get access to a reward center. About 4,163 US dollars you can get access to by completing a couple tasks. This can be used to fund a uh, trading account, so you can use it to fund your futures, reduce your fees, and offset any losses. If you're new, it can actually offset your losses, which is really, really, uh, really interesting. So obviously, BitGet has over 250 spot trading pairs. They actually have 0% fees on spots. There's no global restrictions anywhere in the world. Wherever you are, you can access this. I know in Australia and the UK and a lot of other countries have a lot of restrictions on futures for Binance and Bybit and all these other places. BitGet, you can access it from anywhere. Uh, it's non-KYC, meaning that they're not going to ask for your KYC. They don't know who you are. It's good for decentralization. Uh, all your wallets are completely anonymous. Um, so whatever you want to do with that, you could do with that, but non-KYC is definitely the way to go. Um, and obviously, like we said, very, very low trading fees, 0.2%, which is much lower than most exchanges. So let's go ahead and show you guys how leverage trading works. We'll show you BitGet while we're at it, uh, but make sure head down, click the link, sign to BitGet, uh, just so you know what we're doing and you know how to follow along. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and do our real world scenario trade example for BitGet. Now, BitGet is the exchange we personally trade on. It's what all our VIP members trade on, and a lot of our other members as well on YouTube and our free Telegram trade on as well. Uh, there's a whole range of benefits which we've already talked about to why BitGet is by far the best exchange to be trading on, particularly for future trading in comparison to any other exchange. The limitation of liquidity spikes, um, the low fees, the non-KYC, and the global access to the exchange are just some of the reasons why this is probably the best exchange. And obviously the interface is pretty clean and easy to use. So let's go ahead and talk about it. We've gone ahead and opened up BitGet and we're using the web page browser, not the mobile phone here. You can go ahead and access the future market by clicking USDTM futures at the top left hand corner. It will take you to this hub over here. You can go ahead and click the drop down arrow here or the top middle page over here to adjust what coin you want to be trading. 
For the purpose of today, I've funded the account with a thousand US dollars, and I'm going to go ahead and use the BitGet uh, Bit, uh, BTC USDT on M Futures to show you guys a real world example. So we have our chart on the left over here. We have our order book and market trades over here. And on the right hand side, we have a few things. We have our futures calculator over here. If you want to calculate your position before entry, we can adjust our leverage for longs and shorts by using the slider here. And uh, we can adjust our position type. Okay, so cross or isolate. We've already talked about that previous in the video. We can open and close positions accordingly over here. Scrolling a little bit further down, we can see so we have limit orders, mark orders, and then we have our trailing orders. So we can go trailing stop, post only, or trigger. Okay, uh, you should know what those are already. So for today, we're gonna to go ahead and use a market just because we're not really transacting with a lot of money. We'll probably use a hundred bucks out of this or maybe just put an extra random amount in. We're not too worried, this is an example. Um, you can go ahead and adjust your purchase or sell down over here. So you can go ahead and as well, take your stop loss and entry during position opening, or you can go ahead and adjust it after. Today, we're gonna to go ahead and adjust it after. So we're gonna unselect that box. So make sure before you take your trade, or take your entry, your leverage has been adjusted to the desired amount you wanna use. So for today, we're gonna to go ahead and put a 10X leverage on, we'll go 10X. Um, again, we're not really too worried about the price action. Uh, we're gonna do a quick little diagonal analysis of here, see what the trend is looking like. It looks like we're in a little bit of a wedge over here. Um, again, I'm not really too concerned of where the price goes. Um, this is purely just an example. We're gonna go ahead and take a long position over here at 10X. We'll go ahead and put all of our money in, it's only $1,000. Um, and go ahead and open our long at market at this price over here. So we're gonna go ahead and click that. We're gonna go ahead and open long, and there it is, our entry should open. So at this point here, you can see our entry position at this green line is open, okay? Uh, you'll be able to see your position, your liquidation price down over here, your take profits, targets, uh, your stop losses, your margin, okay? As you can see, it is 984, okay? Uh, you'll be able to notice that the fees have been already discounted from that and I have $10 left available. So uh, after my $1,000 entry, only 993 actually went through, minus fees, 984, okay? My realized, unrealized profit is negative $2. There's my rate of return and my margin ratio. So what can we do here? We can reverse, we can flash close, we can close, or we can go ahead and adjust our entry and targets or stop losses, all that kind of stuff. So first and foremost, a reversal, what that's gonna do, it's gonna close the position immediately and open it up in the opposite direction. So for example, I'm in a long over here, if I click reverse, it will close my long and open a short at the exactly the same price and leverage as I click the button, okay? Now, if I close the position, I can go ahead and enter my close price, close amount and close. You can go ahead and adjust your percentages. For example, you wanna close 25%, you can click 25% and close, okay? Um, flash close will close the entire position at market value, just like a market order. And for take profit and stop loss, we can go ahead and click this. So we have two types of take profits and stop losses. If you wanna sell the 100% of your position, you can use this first tab. This will just go ahead and tell you a specific area or price that you wanna take profit and sell the entirety of your position. Same with stop loss. If you wanna sell in a batch or sell a percentage amount, you have to go here. So for example, for Bitcoin, let's say I wanna take profit at 19,200. Uh, let's go 19,300, sorry, my entry was 19,200. 19,300, 5% return, and I wanna sell 50% of this position. We can scroll up 50% and we can enter that in. And my stop loss, I wanna go ahead and put it at 19,000. All right, this is just an example, guys. Obviously, you wouldn't be taking a trade like this and I wanna sell 30 or 40% of my position here. I can go ahead and do that, okay? That will confirm that. And these trend lines will pop up on the chart to indicate these points to take profit or sell. Now, say for example, you want to change your stop loss. You can go ahead and what you can do, you can go ahead and click cancel. Say I wanna change my stop loss, I'll go ahead and cancel it. And I've decided I actually want to sell the entirety of my position at that level. I can go ahead and just quickly unselect that price, 100% of my stop loss. I can go ahead and sell, sorry, stop loss in batches take profit, stop loss is selected. I wanna sell entirety of my position, so available over here, and I wanna go ahead and sell it at 19,000. As you can see, that will sell the entirety of my position at a negative 10%, which is a 1% drawdown from entry at 19,000. I can go ahead and click confirm, and as you can see, that stop loss has been adjusted 
over here and over here for the entirety of the amount. So that's it guys, that is really how you trade futures on BitGet. I hope that makes more sense. Uh, this was a little update from the last video, um, but with that being said guys, we'll catch you in tomorrow's video. Cheers.